folks. So today we're going to install a pop and lock electric tailgate lock on my 2014 F-150. And what this will do is it'll let the key fob, when I unlock and lock all the doors, it'll unlock and lock the tailgate. Oh, they shipped it loose in a <clears throat> UPS box and it really got beat up pretty bad. But here's the actuator and the hardware. It's got a couple different wiring harnesses. So I guess that's the tailgate wiring harness. There's some assorted hardware and some zip ties. So you're going to need a T30 um, and that's going to undo these. So let me get these out. So it calls for releasing the passenger side rod. And I just got to figure out how this releases. There we go. So we're going to pick this up and move it out of the way. Alright, so there is a 10 millimeter nut here that needs to be removed. Alright, so there are two washers and they both go there. And then we install this. So we gotta get this in here first. Okay, so the trick is to come in in this wider part and then slide this over. And it needs to be upside down like this. All right, and then it just seats down on there. So with it in the right orientation, there's two washers down here. You just drop this in place, okay? And then there is a lock nut that goes back in here. I think it should. So now we can get in here. Alright, I just want that nice and secure. There we go. So now we've got to get this on here. And then we're going to check that it still manually releases. Okay, so that's good. Now we've got to route this small wire up through the tailgate. So I'm a little cutout here with uh, wire protection present that this existing wire goes through so that's where we're going to route it through so the key to this is to route the beginning of the wire through here and then just work the rest of it through and pull yourself enough slack and then work on getting it into so again there's a
Okay, so what I've done is I've taken a piece of PEX pipe because I can't find my fish sticks and I fished it through the tailgate and I'm going to tape the wires to it. This is not an elegant way to do this, but it is an effective way to do this. And to protect the wires, I'm going to stuff them inside the PEX tubing like this. And then I'm just simply going to wrap electrical tape, because it's what I happen to have handy. merged over here. No big deal. Off. Be right back. At this point, I'm going to just simply connect the wires. And I don't like my wires loose like this, so I'm going to go ahead and secure the wiring to the tailgate so that it can't be damaged by rattling around. That should be good enough. At this point, I'm done inside, so I'm going to go ahead and secure the uh, access hatch back on the tailgate, and then I'm going to take a cool down break before I begin. tuck it up under here and that's a good place to stop for the minute set this in here it's really hot out today it's 100 degrees so I'm gonna take a little break and cool down inside all right so now I get a red this this wire here up along the side of the frame so let me get in position and see what I can do all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna route this wire in a safe place it looks like up here is pretty safe there's a little channel Thank you. 
tricky, but it worked. Oh, you know, I think we actually want to be on the inside of this rail. So, nope, not there. the zip ties and secure all right so as i started to route this i realized i'd made a mistake and so i had to backtrack and take this part this connector needs to be approximately right there otherwise you can't remove your tailgate and i don't know how you remove the tailgate anyway but so i'm redoing this so that i can get it positioned right Now I'm going to coil my excess wire. And zip tie it in the same location. Also zip tying the other end down here so it can't get away. And that means your connector is up here. So I'm going to fish the wires through here. So now I'm going to connect this. At this point, I'm going to replace this.
So now we got to go back underneath and work on this. But first, I want to verify that this all shuts the way I expect it to. So, I need to route this wire, and it needs to go along the inside of the frame rail along the other wiring. So first things first, I need to find the end of it. tie the wire in a few places to secure it so it's not loose. Loose wire will chafe and it will short. And on a newer vehicle that's a big problem. Sorry, you guys probably can't see much, but I don't really know what else to do with the camera. Interesting, there's a vent tube for the axle, and it goes up to the bottom of the bed. That's actually really smart. Really smart. That solves a problem that I've had on vehicles before where water gets into the axle and creates milk. Milky, nasty oil. Now I gotta crawl up here, figure out how I'm gonna run this wire. So, I've got my wire to the back of the gas tank and I need to come up here and get into the cab. 
So the easiest place to get in the cab is going to be up here on one of these vents. And so I need to figure out how I'm getting into the cab before I come any further forward with the uh, So I got to run this all the way to the front firewall. So I'm going to get at it. having problems with the wire not being rigid enough because it's hot so I'm having to double it up in hopes that I can get enough rigidity to get it to the top with one hand Not fucking happening. All right. Well, kind of know where I'm going now. working on top of the gas tank.
So there's a little rubber weather stripping here, and I'm going to use it to my advantage to pass this cable over because the cable is cheap and really flexible. And it's only a problem because it's 100 degrees out. Got enough cable up there to get it. Alright, so I went back to using my other trick, which is using a piece of PEX to fish. And so I've been able to fish. I put I taped the I taped the wire to the PEX and was able to get it fished through here now. I've just got to get the tape off. And I'm pretty sure this is three eighths inch packs, but you can use any size that you have in hand because it's all pretty flexible. And that's a whole lot faster. So I have followed the wiring up here. I don't think there's enough wire here, but I'm just gonna do what they say. So we'll see, everything else has worked out. So I'm just gonna give it benefit of the doubt. All right, trim these and then it's time to go up top. I have followed this wiring down the driver's side of the truck. All right, so to finish this install, we need to get to the trim. So you do that by just lifting up. It's a little bit tough, just pull, it'll come up. Okay, what we're trying to get to is this grommet right here so that we can run wires through it. So, and that's more than enough. So we'll just pull this up and out. And you can see here, there's a grommet down here that goes through. So I'm gonna put a quarter inch hole in that with a drill. I'll be right back. Now, it's always really important when you're drilling to make sure you're clear underneath. And I've already done that. I located this by looking from the underside, looking for this grommet. So what I'm gonna do is just pull this out of my way. And I just wanna puncture this with the drill. Okay, I'm just trying to get a hole in this so I can put my wire in here so that I can route it up. So let me go get my wire. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it off the bottom of the uh, truck. Right, ouch. <sighs> Poked myself with the door. So I'm just gonna crawl up here and cut my zip ties and pull them off. Now, I put way more zip ties on here than I needed to, but that's okay. My wire is secure. It's not gonna, it's not gonna move around, which means it'll never chafe and short out. underneath the truck here backing off my zip ties 
All right, and that brings us pretty close to, we got the last one here that we gotta take out. Now, I need to reroute my wire around my emergency brake. Find the end of it here. And then I just need to see if I can get this to go up through here. Yep. Okay, so I want to keep my wire up out of harm's way. So I'm going to tie it to the frame here. And I'm only going to partially tighten this. The reason is I want to pull a little bit more of this back through. I want this wire managed its entire travel. What I mean by that is I want it secured at all times. I don't want loose wire because loose wire is gonna vibrate and that will eventually chafe and short. And that's a sloppy install. I watched several videos on this and I was kind of surprised to see supposedly professional technicians from major websites that generally have really good videos doing what I would refer to as a half-ass install. And a half-ass install is when you wrap it around the wire loom where it's subject to chafing and vibration. You know, this is not an aircraft quality install, but this is certainly a lot better. Um, you know, an aircraft quality install would be using wire loom for the entire run, but you know, it's just a tailgate lock. I'm not doing that. But this is certainly a lot better. This keeps it up out of harm's way and the wire doesn't have a lot of freedom to misbehave. So let's get off this hot ass concrete and see what's going on inside where I can show you how we get this actually done because there wasn't enough wire to do this in the kit the way they described. And this is a better install anyway. Why run the wire on the bottom of the truck if you could run it on the t up in the cab? So I wanna back off and show you where this grommet's at. So we're doing the driver's rear passenger door. We've removed the sill plate or the step plate. I've pulled the wire loom up and I'm gonna actually tuck it back down. And underneath here, there is a grommet. And I've drilled a hole that's about the size of the wire in this grommet after making sure it was clear underneath. And now I'm just gonna tuck this back in. Actually, you know what? I wanna make sure that's snug. So now I'm just tuck this back in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zip tie this and I'm gonna feed it forward because the wires that I need to splice to are gonna be in here. All right, so I'm gonna pull this out one more time. And you may notice that I'm not cinching these tight. Nope, not yet. There's a reason for that and I'll show you that here in a second. Okay, now I'm going to tuck this back in, and now I'm going to cinch it tight. And now I'm going to just practice good installer hygiene and clip my zip ties. All right, be right back. So now I'm going to pull this plate out, and you literally just put your fingers under here and pull. be a better way to do this but it doesn't appear that there is so I'm just gonna push that out of the way for now because what we want to work on is in here I'm gonna go get a knife so I can slip this and get into this wire so I'm gonna open up this very very carefully by just trimming this green tape. You need to be super careful with the wiring because there is more important wiring that runs in here. What I mean by more important wiring, 
push this wire under here to get it into the vicinity that I need to work with it in. So the other way to do this is just to sort of lift up this edge and work the wire under here because it's just literally just going to sit there. got this where we need it and now we need to figure out what wires are involved so I'm gonna gently pull this up I need to get inside this this again and again I want to be really careful not to cut or nick any of my wires because you have no idea what these do they could be airbags they could be sensors like that yellow and orange, that's most certainly an important wire. So let me see what color wires I'm looking for, and I'll be right back. It says I'm looking for a gray with brown stripe, so I'm going to just poke it. Now I'm going to try and poke it. Okay, so all I'm doing is piercing the insulation, and then I'm going to lock and unlock. And that does not seem to be what we're looking for. I'm grounded, but I'm going to double check. I'm going to ground in a second place. I'm looking for bare metal contact for my ground. So these bolts will do it. Nope, that's not it. One of the wires and I'm going to trim the excess wire out of this and then I'm going to strip this alright so this is one of these things where it doesn't matter which choice you make you're wrong so we're just going to go ahead and connect the first wire I'm going to connect the green to the blue with the green stripe. Maybe it's right. Probably it's not. I'll switch it at the back. It is one of the wires. Alright, so there's our splice tap. Let me show you what this connection looks like. So you pierce it through the wire and then you just hit this. And you're going to get a light in your test meter. And that indicates that you've got one of the wires you're looking for. So now, we got one. So that was the light blue with the green stripe. So now we're looking for a brown with a tan stripe. All right, so I found it. Here it is. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is a gray with a brown stripe and a blue with a green stripe in this truck. Let me get my other tap connector. Let me get it situated on here. Alright, and then I will double check that we made a good splice. Yep, got it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go check the tailgate itself. So we're going to start with lock. So the wires are reversed in here. So let me go get my drill and fix that. 
pop this off and set it to the side. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to swap these two connectors. should have fixed it, but I'm going to close my gate and check. So, Locked, unlocked, locked, unlocked. That's a nice thing. Let me put this back together. Actually, I'm not going to put this back together because I have another project back here in a minute. So I'm going to leave this alone for the moment. So I need to just tuck this back in. So rather than using tape, I'm going to use zip ties. So I'm going to pick my bundle up, fish all my wires that are down here. And I just put a couple zip ties in. This isn't the space shuttle, so it doesn't have to be Baja tough or space travel tough. But I do want it to be a clean install because, well, it's my truck and I'm proud of my work. I know, there's others of you who would do this differently, and that's great. You can buy yourself a truck and do it differently. But this is how I'm doing it. Okay, so... zip tie here to secure this. Ah, let's be OCD today. Make them all the same direction. There we go. So now we need to just gently work this back into the channel. So we've got this that came from under here. Hopefully that's the right spot. Yep, that looks good. So we have got to do the back one and then check everything and call it a nice clean install. You can't really tell I was there. That's kind of the way I like to do my installs. Again, I've buttoned all this back up. Remember, what you're looking for is under here. There's a grommet under here, and that's good for CDs or, in this case, wiring. And then back here, unlocked, locked, unlocked. So that is a perfect install. Uh, I've got something else coming up right after this that uh, involves this, so be sure to check out my other videos. Look under my F-150 playlist. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.